Houston is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at the 39. So they gain six yards on the play and pick up the first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. That makes it seven and six. Defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that ball. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 38. Mike 50, Mike 50. There's a strike complete. He's down. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. From the 15, and down he goes at the 19-yard line. The Cougars, in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. Gets it out to him again. That's a game of 10 on the play. First down. Hey, check mark 33. Check mark 33. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. Ready. Money and Weasel. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Throws it in a hurry. Game of one on the play. That brings up seven to nine. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes us third and three. Steps out of bounds at the 41 yard line. He really got a hold of that one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He lets it go. From their own 21-yard line. Third down. And the safety with the interception. To the 20. And they make the stop around the 13-yard line. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. From the 13-yard line, it's first down. Hey, watch number five. Number five, watch number five. <laughs> 
Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. That's a D. Check, 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 Finds a man, touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A quick two play, 13 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Houston is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Houston's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. I think we're just seeing great defense. I understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. It may be early, but don't think the coaches haven't spent a lot of time reminding these guys how important it is to take care of the football. So he holds on to it and gets a good five yards. Big opening. He fights forward to about the 33. That'll bring up third and two. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. No gain on the play. That'll make it fourth and two. Houston's making a bid for an upset here today, Herbie, but do they really have it in them, do you think? Brad, it's been a, it's a great start by this team. I just can't see them holding up for four quarters. I think eventually you'll see the better team emerge. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. You know, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. That's a game of 13 on the way. That makes it first and 10. Houston is up seven. He takes a dime for a good game. That's good for a game of seven yards. That will bring up second and three. Pushed out of bounds around the 16-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From the 16-yard line, second down. End zone. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. It's the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it's in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars are looking downright scary defense so far. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. The last time. 
both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Got it, and brought down immediately. We played one. Houston in front, 14-0. to the action now here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. Hey, check my 50. Mike in the 50. Get out, get out. Blue 78. Blue 78. Brought down at about the 27-yard line. He wasn't decisive at all in that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. Third and eight. From their own 27-yard line. It's third down. Let's eat it up. Mike 50, Mike 50. Yeah. And he's tackled the 39 yard line. And he just gets rid of it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 39. Hey, hey, check, check. Mike 50. Just throws this one away. Drop play, and the defense was ready for it. That brings, that brings up fourth, fourth and 11. 11. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the 33-yard line. Everybody was fooled on that one. Hey, that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. They come out of an empty backfield. And he's taken down right around the 30. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat. It's a snap of the ball. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Hey, check my 33. Check my 33. Ready! They hand it off. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up third and six. Let's it fly. And he stays in bounds and he hauls in a big one. Fumble, loose ball. They fall on it. And he hits him hard at the 42. They work hard, and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. Call it a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Three down, three down. Mike 50, Mike 50. Switch, switch, switch. Got a man. Watch out here. He goes out of bounds at the 46. He 
He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Losses two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and twelve. From the 44-yard line, second down. Check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Number 11 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 12. Mike six, Mike six. Down. He guns it left side. It's picked off. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. I'm coming for you, 27. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Knocked out of bounds at the 24. That'll bring up third and six. Let's go, baby. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Ill-advised pass, and this will be picked off. Tackle around the 48-yard line. There you go. If you're going to come back in this game, it's going to start with one play. And maybe that pick is what turns things around for you. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Makes it out to about the 39. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He fights forward to about the 36. throw out to the receiver incomplete and there wasn't anyone in the vicinity i think the ball just slipped out on him second down 10 to go ball on the 36 yard line the coordinator anticipating this five wide set and he comes in with his dime packing and he tackles him hard at the 28 yard line in the shotgun and five wide out Get to that quickly. They'll spread the field with five wide. Caught over the middle. And down he goes, right around the 16-yard line. It's ninth play of the drive. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. There was some movement on the line. False start, offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Roger, Roger! Hey, watch 11. Three, three, three. 
Hit as he threw, and he completes it. He's tackled around the 15-yard line. Five, maybe six on that screen pass. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Kick is up, and he's got it. Arizona lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. Houston's done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, Harvey. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense they're facing across the line on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So it's still a lot of football to be played. Going deep. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. That's a deep one. First down. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. He sails it long. The senior makes the catch. Makes it three touchdown passes this half. This quarterback is going to continue to tear him up until they get some pressure on him. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. we got a lot of football left, but i got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Gets the ball here and brought down to the backfield. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. Hey, check back, check back, it's second and 11. Ball on 24. We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. 21-3, Houston. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan, an innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Seemingly an avalanche of turnovers in the first half. You'd think that there would be better ball security in the second half, but if these teams continue on this benevolent path of continuing to hand the football to the other side, who's going to get the edge? What's the most important thing to getting the edge in a game like this? I would team continue to be a nonprofit and just give the football away. Here you go. You know, here's some charity. I mean, whichever team can can put some drives together and not shoot themselves in the foot. I mean, it's it's really painful because when you do put together good plays followed up by bad ones, that's all you remember. You don't take away the positive from it. So, you know, each team has had some success, but finding that success with some consistency is something they need to do because you got to take you got to put that you got to put a premium on that football just about set to start the second half what are you looking for i'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage and if they can find it they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide brad and kirk will be there to call the second half welcome back everybody second half action about to begin 
He just drills this one. Brought down at the 17 yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. You know, the quarterback's very fortunate that his wide receiver's getting up from that hit. That's a big hit by the defender. The quarterback should go up to his receiver and apologize for putting that ball in a position where he almost had his head taken. Quick throw. From their own 17-yard line, third down. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He really got a hold of that one. And down he goes at the 45. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Here we go. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Number 13 tackles in the backfield at the 44 yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11. Ball on the 44. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Fires out to his wideout. And they make the stop, the 47-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Steps out of bounds at the 44. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. That's a great tackle at the 48. Calling a loss of eight yards on the way. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. I got one, I got one. Mike six. Mike six. Yeah. And he's immediately tackled. Number 24 brings him down at the 42 yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. Steps up and goes down. Fourth down. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The Wildcats have simply rocked the college football world with an astounding effort in this one. This is one of the biggest upsets I think we've seen all year. You know what's great? They didn't worry about any of the outside distractions. They just kind of locked in to themselves and their coaches, getting ready for this football game, and it's really paid off for them. Throws complete. He's got space to work. That's a game that made on the play. That makes it second and two. I'm coming for you, 27. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Crunch time, defense. Easy, easy, easy. Brought down at the 23. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there. From their own 23-yard line, third down. Gonna 
bring up fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the second half. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He showed a good burst there. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Big opening. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. direction. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. No game. That'll bring up fourth and one. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Booming kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Three down, three down. Hey, check by 33. Check by 33. Get up, get up, get up. Quick strike, and he drops it. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. And he's taken down at about the 49. Nice play there to pick up the first down. He did a great job of getting up in the air, ignoring the defenders, and coming down with the ball. He rifles it to the left. And he's hit immediately. First down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Ready! As a man, he'll lose big yards. Drop back four yards on that one. But that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Wants to go long and does. He's taken down at the 12. Nice catch on that one. They bring him down. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you get embarrassed on Monday or not. This is the eighth play of this drive. <laughs> Check five 33. Run. Run. He decides to keep it and picks up seven yards. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Front with room to work. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down.
So with one quarter remaining, the Cougars in front, 21-3. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. It's up, and the field goal is good. Houston, ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Houston's defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. Well, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively, and what it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? And he throws it away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Mike six. Mike six. Here we go. Here we go. Red. Blue seven. And they got him. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. He's going to go for the home run. Finds the junior. Inside the 30. The 10. Tackle at about the three-yard line. Boy, where has this been? You know, that's great to see this offense make a big play, but, well, you look at a little over two minutes to go in this game, and they're down big. Would have loved to have seen that earlier in the game. Touchdown, Wildcats. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Arizona is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Cougars offensive coaching staff's got to be asking the question, can we do this every week? Well, I think any great offense comes in with a plan, with an ability to run and to throw. And because this defense is so determined to stop the running game, you kind of turn the page in the playbook and you start to throw the ball. They recognize that, and they've done a very nice job of executing. That'll bring up second and three. Ball is loose, fumble. It's picked up by the defense. Has some daylight. And they'll return this one all the way. That mistake will cost this offense possession of the ball. And this young safety was right there to pick up the fumble. Huge break for the defense. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. 
And they can forget about returning this one. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, it's been a fun afternoon because he's having a lot of success. And the reason is he's in tune with his receivers and they're really playing with a great rhythm. And now's the time for another sharp series from this quarterback as he looks to add to their lead and silence the crowd. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Complete. He's got room. That's a gain of four on one play. That makes it second and six. Houston up seven points. Watch the pass. He's tackled around the 47 yard line. That makes it first and They come out in a five wide set. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes around the 38 yard line. Number two. That brings up second and one. Ready! Easy! Lucky 95! Lucky 95! Hut hut! Hut hut! Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 35. First down. They come out on an empty backfield. Check Mike 33. Easy, easy, easy. Fires quickly and he's got his man. They'll bring him down right around the 32 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Here we go. Mike check 33. 33. Easy, easy, easy. Big dog, big dog. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves them with a first and goal. First down. First and goal here. Let's see if they keep it on the ground inside the five. Just under two minutes in the game. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he's sacked. Arizona's going to have to use their second time out of the half. We're at play number nine as current drive. You know, Brad, I think this is where the game has really changed over the last five or six years in college football is the athletic ability and speed now at safety. These guys are covering receivers. They're being asked to be able to be physical and make tackles. But also, now we're starting to see them blitz more and more. And this young man has enough speed to be able to get all the way to the quarterback for a sack. And it is good. Now that really puts the pressure on. Yeah, that was definitely a big field goal because now that puts him up by two scores, and there's not much time left on the clock. Looks like they're ready for the kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Quick throw, and they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. Throws left, picked off. Brought down at the 20. Hey. 
from the 20 yard line. First down. Just over a minute left. That was just smash mouth, almost the chin football by the deep to line there. They dominated the point of attack. Run there. Make the carry. Gain of seven yards. Third down. I'm coming for you, 27. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Ready. Red 18. Red 18. Houston's team right now aware that they are a team. Hey, they're starting to shine today. Everybody else picked up the pace, though. I think we all came in expecting to see that star player really shine. And, and the fact that they didn't have a great game from him and still won the football game, boy, I walk away from this game as a viewer just thinking even that much more about this team than maybe what I thought prior to the football game. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.